Now, let's talk about the characteristics of different types of multiple choice questions. And first, we will talk about single best answer type or BAQ. The BAQ or best answer question is a type of multiple choice question with a stem, which is followed by four or five related options. This is important. The very characteristic statement for BAQ that all the options are correct to a varying degree, but only one is comparatively best or absolutely correct answer. And this correct answer is called the key to the question. Remaining three or four options are called as distractors. The structure of uh, best answer question, there is a stem followed by lead in question, then a key or answer and three or four distractors. Here is an example. A five-year-old boy with congenital heart disease presents with signs of congestive cardiac failure. The pediatrician directs to uh, start treatment with an ACE inhibitor. So this is the stem of this BAQ. Following the advice of pediatrician, which one of the following anti-failure drugs is most suitable for the treatment of this patient? And this is the lead in uh, question. These are the options. And here is the key, the capital and these are the distractors. Another example, a researcher in pharmacy laboratory wants to compare the potency of two drugs. That's the stem. Which one of the following measures is the most suitable to be applied in this situation? This would be the lead-in statement or lead-in question. And then these are the options, a therapeutic index, bioavailability, half-life, and maximum tolerated dose. Here is a diagrammatic representation of a BAQ where we have five options. All of them are correct, but one is the most correct than the other, and that would be the key or answer to the question. This is the sample answer sheet, and in this type of question, students have to choose only one option which they think is the best um, item in that question. Now, some uh, tips and guidelines on the construction of uh, uh, best answer question. First is on the STEM. The STEM introduces the theme or problem clearly. It provides enough relevant information avoiding unnecessary details. This is important because unnecessary details would confuse the student and also waste time. The STEM is a complete statement which can be answered without reading the alternatives. So this is what we call is cover test. This means that a good student will be able to answer that question even if the options are hidden. This means that the STEM is so clear that a good student would be able to answer that uh, a leading question even without looking at the option list. The STEM generally comprises of clinical vignettes, and there are reasons for that because they improve the validity of assessment. They are naturally better constructed and usually require problem solving skills. Constructing the options, they must be homogeneous, means that we cannot have um, are different uh, uh, options in, in the sense that they totally assess unrelated areas. So either we have all the statements related to diagnosis or investigations or mechanisms of disease or treatments, etc. The All the options are plausible, as we said previously, that every uh, option is have some degree of truth. Uh, and uh, so they are not totally wrong. They are reasonable and attractive. 
they are linked with the state uh, with the stem and they are logical however we can use common misconceptions and beliefs as options and each option have uh, has a uh, ring of truth the options match the correct response in length complexity phrasing and style so this is to deal with uh, exam savvy students so the uh, key and the distractor should match as much as possible uh, we shouldn't be choosing tricky or picky things and we should avoid non essential topics we should have a grammatically correct ending to the leading statement or answer to the question however sometimes a completely false distractor can be used if no other option is available and the question is testing an important aspect of the course so it is um, the condition that the question is really really important and uh, there's no other possible option only then we can use uh, a completely false distractor in 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 a baq next formatting of uh, these items are options construct each item to assess a single specific written objective so make sure that one statement one option or one item does not assess more than one objective if we do so it would end up with measuring lower level of competence or covering trivial matter that is of little educational worth base each item on a specific problem which is clearly stated in the stem and students should be ideally able to answer the lead in question without reading the option that the cover test which i just mentioned uh, that is the one way of assessing the quality of a uh, single best answer question here is uh, a example of uh, a uh, single best answer question but you will see there is no stem which one of the following pathogens is most common cause of bronchiolitis is the influenza virus adenovirus respiratory syncytial virus mycoplasma pneumoniae or rhinovirus so as you see this is not a good question because it simply assesses the recall uh, of the student and there is no assessment of higher mental functions or complex situations so you see that if we do not have a stem that actually compromises the quality of of the question 